you know, the, these times uh, that we're in. And so uh, good morning, Jamoki scholars, parents, staff, and community. I would like to take a moment to welcome you all to our first um, trimester award ceremony. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Mrs. Johnson and I am the principal here at Thelma Ellis Dickerson Jamoki Academy. Jamoki scholars are respectful, responsible, and ready to learn at all times. This first trimester, our scholars have not only displayed these three R's, but have truly been resilient through it all. It is for these reasons that we have made sure that these award ceremonies have occurred. While many, while we may not be able to gather in person, we, would, we will not allow the regulations around the pandemic or social distancing to stop us in celebrating the accomplishments of all of our amazing scholars and their families. On behalf of our district leaders, teachers and staff, I welcome you again to our first trimester award ceremony. At this time, Mrs. Wright will continue with our program. Thank you. Good morning, Jamoki Academy family. Good morning, Jamoki Academy staff and scholars. And welcome to our first trimester uh, virtual award ceremony. We're gonna get started. I was waiting for a couple people, but I think everyone has joined us now. I will be, if you hear me periodically stop, parents and family members as they, um, as they uh, uh, meeting. Um, but we're gonna try to make sure that we take a minute to recognize dollars for just for the wonderful things that I have been doing this trimester all while we were in the in the pandemic okay so let us speak these trimester awards for December 16th 2020 uh, we've had our welcome by principal Johnson thank you principal Johnson we will have our opening song of lift every voice and sing I will ask that even though we're all muted if everybody would sing along that would actually be wonderful even though I can't hear you right away somebody around you can hear you and that would be excellent I will explain the criteria for the awards that the scholars will be getting and then we will do the presentation of the certificates essentially we will be reading off their names and making sure that we do a good job of acknowledging them and then we will have closing remarks by principal Johnson Okay. Please be patient with me. Something happened with my slide and it's moving slowly. Um, I'm not sure what it, what you guys can see. What's presenting? Let me stop presenting and Just start again. Lyrics. Just the lyrics. Oh, the lyrics were still there? I couldn't see them. Not, not that I needed them, but I couldn't see them. Okay. Here we go, Lift Every Voice and Sing by James Weldon Johnson. We usually sing this every Wednesday as part of our Wednesday Lift Every Voice, so it's very appropriate for today. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Sing with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the lift. Skies. Let it resound loud as the holy sea. Sing a song full of the the dark past has taught us. Sing a song. Full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day. We 
done. Let us march on till victory is won. I hope everybody was singing along. And we are moving into the next part of our program, which is the criteria for the awards. Criteria for student Mrs. Wright? Right? Yes. Hi, um, are you available? Are you able to show your screen? I am. Can you not see the screen? We cannot see your screen. Are you not able to see me at all? We see um, we see everyone. So oh. okay, let me do it again. No problem. The choice of technology. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Got it. All right, we got it now? Yes, you're good to go, thank you. Thank you. Okay, the criteria for student recognition is based on the standards-based grading practices that we use to assess your scholar's academic achievement. Scholars will be highlighted for their achievement in specific academic areas rather than an overall academic achievement level. The TED Academic Award. This award is for scholars that show consistent academic excellence in the subject area of reading, writing, or mathematics. The Personal Success Award. Scholars will be recognized for extra efforts or improvements in academics or behavior and citizenship. The Perfect Attendance Award. Perfect attendance is awarded when a student has no absences and no unexpected used parties. The iReady Award. This certificate is awarded to scholars that have completed required minutes for at least three weeks and passed their 70% of their lessons. The Jamoki Academy Spirit Award. This award uh, is um, where students are uh, nominated and elected by their peers. So it's a very important award. Scholar must, scholars must ex display exceptional citizenship, responsibility, and academic performance. The Specials Awards. This, these, are, these awards go to scholars that exhibit great talent and artistry in the areas of art, physical education, and music. And we will begin with our pre-K class, Ms. Henry and Ms. Rodriguez. In the category of letter recognition, we have Genesis Douglas, Kaleem Gaffer, Kai Hibbert, Nathaniel Liss, Cairo Spence, and Kezia We're giving virtual claps to all of our scholars and letter recognition. For personal success and growth, Chenault Brown, Skyler Reed, and Kamani Long Williams. Those personal success awards are for students who are growing every day. And pre K, Ms. Palmer and Ms. Mitchell. For academic excellence and letter recognition, Alicia Hakazamana, Vanya Harding, Jaden Jack, Marvin Biard, Cameron Swainson, and Dermian Campbell. For personal success, the Growth Award for Scholars Making Improvements Russell Peters, and Liam Grant. Can we just give them our virtual applause? We are so very proud of those scholars for all the progress that they're making in our pre-kindergarten class. And Mrs. Musco and Mrs. Henderson's pre-kindergarten uh, pre class. For academic excellence and, and letter recognition, Olivia Noble, Sanai Brooks, and Srijal Bata. The Personal Success Award goes to Russell Peters and Liam Grant.
Can we just give some virtual hand claps to our scholars? We are very, very proud of the progress that they are making in the pre-kindergarten classes. In our kindergarten class, Ms. Carhu and Mrs. Daly. The TED Academic Award in Writing. Tyler Benjamin. Keyshawn Frederick, Kendi Jones, Landon Chong, and Sage Atkins, I'm sorry. We uh, applaud those scholars for doing uh, academic excellence in the areas of writing. The TED Academic Award for Reading goes to Kanai Palmer, Kendi Jones, Jadiel Prescott. Congratulations to Hope Hasek, Sage Atkins, Daniel Johnson, Rochelle Richards, Anara Schroeder, Samaria Sapo Darko, and Landon Chong. Congratulations, scholars. That is excellent. I saw some of those names repeated, which means that you are uh, academically excellent in multiple subjects. Great job. And the TED Academic Award in math. Here again, we have some names that are repeating. These scholars are doing a good job overall. They're very well-rounded. We love to see this. Panay Palmer, Sage Atkins, Kendi Jones, Jadiel Prescott, Samaria Safo Darko, Anara Schroeder, and Landon Chong. Excellent. The Pro Personal Success Award for Growth in Subject Areas, for Growth in Reading, Isaiah Rodriguez, for Growth in Writing, Kaylee Bargerson. Growth in Math, Tyrus Bester. For Extra Effort, Isaiah Rodriguez. Amir Rice. Abigail Pacheco. Tyrus Bester. Kaylee Fargerson. And Ja Gary. Congratulations, scholars for the growth that you've made in those very specific subject areas. The Perfect Attendance Award for our scholars who work hard to be in school and be present every day and online every day if you are virtual, Tyler Benjamin and Tyrus Esther. Congratulations scholars on the Perfect Attendance Award. And congratulations par parents who also help to make sure our scholars get to school. The pre-kindergarten special awards go to, in the area of art, Danica Jarrett, in the area of physical education, Titus Veal, and in the area of music, Michael Doe Jr. Congratulations, scholars. Excellent, excellent job, and keep up the very, very hard work. In kindergarten, we have Mrs. McDonald and Miss Jody. The TED Academic Award for Writing goes to Adriana Ricketts, Emily Martin, and Legacy Hamilton. Excellent job, writers. The TED Academic Award for Reading goes to Aerith Lewis, Adriana Ricketts, Aspen Lilburn, Anastasia Peterkin, Jeremiah Harris, Helena Fetty, and Eli Smith. Thank you, uh, wonderful readers, hardworking readers. We appreciate you and keep up the good work. In the area of math, we have Arif Lewis, Adriana Ricketts, Helena Fetty, Ramik Franklin, Messiah Harris, Georgina McDonald, and Eli Smith. 
excellent future mathematicians, future engineers, and future scientists. We appreciate you continue the hard work. For personal success, the Personal Success Awards go to, in the area of reading, and thank you for your growth there, is Cassius Garrett. For growth in math, Andrew Channer, Nithya Johnson. For growth in, read, in writing, Legacy Hamilton. And for growth in effort, Messiah Harris, Bryson Goritz, Preston DaCosta, Jessup Bollinger, and Emily Grant. Thank you for that exceptional job. In kindergarten, Ms. Bogle and Ms. Harris, I'd like to award the following uh, certificates to for Thelma Ellis Dickerson Academic Award in Writing for our future novelists, we have Danish Hakazimana, Nathaniel Albert, Taylor Hawthorne, Burn, Avery Williams McNeils. Thank you so much, future writers, future novelists and scholars. The TED Academic Award for Reading goes to Danish Hakazimana, Ronaldo Wright, Nathaniel Albert, Courtney Miller, Omir Lawrence, Tyler Brown, and Ryan Dennis. Excellent job, super readers. And the TED Academic Award for Math, Ronaldo Wright, Danish Hakazamana, Ryan Dennis, Grayson Gittens, Emma Lee Morgan, Avery Williams McNeils, and Carly Rose Wilkins, Connor Salmon. Excellent job, excellent job, and congratulations to those award recipients. For the area of personal success and growth, for growth in reading, Ryan Dennis, for growth in math, Zanae Gordon, Connor Salmon, for growth in effort, Aishana Smichael, Taylor Funny, Layla McGowan, Jason Lindo, Ania Price, Alicia Maxim, Omani Bennett, and Chrissy Johnson. And in the area of writing for growth, Carly Rose Wilkins. Excellent job. Look at all that effort. That's amazing. All of the scholars that are putting forth their very best effort, keep up the good work. Kindergarten, the Jamoki Spirit Awards go to, for Miss Carhu and Mrs. Daly's class, Tyrus Bester. Good job, Tyrus, and congratulations on your Jamoki Spirit Award. Miss McDonald and Miss Jody. Kaylina Fetty, excellent job, Kaylina, and good job on achieving the Jamoki A Spirit Award. And for Miss Vogel and Miss Harris, thank you, Nathaniel Albert. Round of applause for all of our Jamoki Spirit Award winners. I hope that somewhere, wherever you are, scholars, you are taking a bow, and I am so happy that you are embodying the Jamoki Spirit. The Kindergarten Specials Awards. Uh, for art, Arif Lewis, for physical education, Carly Rose Wilkins, and for music, Arif Lewis. Congratulations, scholars. In first grade, Ms. Brunel and Ms. Prescott have a few awards and a few scholars that they'd like to uh, award the TED Academic Award for Writing, and that is Malia Howard and Soleil King. Congratulations, writers. The TED Academic Award for Reading goes to Soleil King, Derek Kerr, Jordan Featherstone, and Amir Hines. Excellent job. I like to see what I'm seeing. I see a lot of repeat names. I see a lot of young men and young ladies on these awards for academics, for reading and writing. Keep up the good work. And for math, Soleil King, Jordan Featherstone, Malia Howard, and Kinsey Hollis Brown. Congratulations to you. For the Personal Success Awards for Growth in the Area of Reading, Ariana Green, 
for growth in math, Levita, Levita Moore. For growth in effort, Faith Ward. And for growth in participation, Kinsey Hollis Brown. Mr. Moore, Scholar Moore, if I pronounce, mispronounced your first name, please forgive me. I said, I will, I will make sure that I get it right next time. And for perfect attendance, congratulations on perfect attendance, Mr. Jordan Featherstone. Thank you for being present. In first grade, our last grade, but not our last class, we have um, Mrs. Lewis and Miss Felice. The TED Academic Award for Writing goes to Denasia Jarrett and Noila Masters. For reading, Olivia Lawrence, Jace Thelwell, and Nasir McLeod. I think we might have some siblings there in the upper grades who also received awards. Congratulations to those parents. And the TED Academic Award goes to Jace Thelwell. Congratulations. For personal success, for growth in reading, Carter Goritz. For growth in math, Bailey Cook. For growth in writing, Kylie Berry. For growth in effort, Mohammed. I think there might be a last, Muhammad, is it Gaffer? Malia Muhammad. Malia Muhammad, I'm sorry about that. Malia Muhammad, Malia, we will make sure we get that right. Congratulations, Malia Muhammad. And for growth in participation, Larry Roberts Gage. The iReady Recognition Award goes to Zaheer Carpenter. Keep up the great work, Zaheer. First grade, Miss Delude and Miss Heavens class. The TED Academic Award for Writing goes to Madison Akumawa. Miss Delude, please feel free to help me out with the pronunciation of that last name if you know it. Jaslyn Prescott. You have it, Miss Delude? It's Akwoma. Akwoma. Thank you so much. Madison Akwoma for the Writing Award and Jaslyn. Prescott, Prescott, thank you so much. So I, I pronounced one and, and mispronounced the next one. <laughs> Tamar Beckford, Zaire Smith, and Jordan Thelwell for the Academic Award for Reading. Congratulations to all three of you for being academically excellent in the area of reading. For the area of math, exhibiting academic excellence, Kendall Berry. And the Personal Success Awards for this class for Growth in Reading, Sarai Durham. Kanice Reed for Growth in Math. Sage Henry for Growth in Writing. And uh, Jakar George Combs for Growth in Effort. And for Growth in Participation, Rihanna Meggie. And I think I had something about, I may have mispronounced the name, um, but I will try to go back and do that and let's see if it's still on there. I think first grade was saying that their, um, their spirit award, their spirit award wasn't listed. And so their spirit award winner is Miss Bailey Cook. Thank you for making sure that we get that name in there because it is important that we recognize that the scholar who was, um, who was selected uh, to represent your classroom for the Spirit Award was Bailey Cook. Congratulations to Bailey Cook. <clears throat> for I Ready Recognition, for Math, Javion Mentor and Zayden Roden. Great job. And for Reading, I Ready Recognition, Javion Mentor again. Excellent job. Keep up with those I Ready lessons. Excellent. That's what we love to see. For perfect attendance, for being uh, being present every single day, Alexander Adams, Christian Chance, and Javion Mentor. 
the first grade Jamoki Spirit Awards. Here we go, Miss Feliz. They were all at the end. Miss Brunel, Miss Prescott, Emmanuel Harding. Woohoo! For Miss Lewis and Miss Feliz, Bailey Cook. Yes, congratulations. And Miss Delude and Miss Heaven have selected Zaire Smith. Congratulations, scholars, for being our Jamoki Spirit Award recipients. The last but not least, the first grade specials awards. In the area of art, Soleil King. In physical education, Jordan Thelwell. And in music, Camella, Camello Miller Williams. I hope those are all the right names. I think they are. Um, so congratulations to those award recipients. Mrs. Wright, um, I would like to make sure that we uh, share Mrs. Uh, Palmer made us aware of her personal success awards. Ms. Palmer, if you will unmute yourself and make sure that we recognize your scholars. And while Mrs. Palmer is doing that, um, because we are in an age of having to do this virtually, um, we did also have a a teacher who expressed that her scholars were unable to hear on her end. And so I would like for us just to repeat the award. So if you'll prepare for that while Ms. Palmer is sharing um, the awards for Ms. Bogle and Ms. Harris's class when Ms. Palmer is done. Thank you. Hello everyone. So for my personal special award, I would like to, it's echoing, sorry. Congratulate Juliana Johnson. Go Juliana. Julian Bravo Jr. Woo! Skylar Powell. And last but not least, Michael Doe Jr. I am extremely proud of you all. Congratulations. Thank you for making us aware of that, Mrs. Palmer. Excellent. And we will add them to the slides because the slides are still there. So if we ever want to go back and look at them, we'll make sure that their names are actually in lights, as I say. So that's very important. And just for Miss Bogle's class, it was it Miss Bogle and Miss Harris, their awards, they didn't get a chance to hear them. And it's important that we do hear those awards before we leave. So um, I'm going to try to go backwards. Let me stop sharing for a second and go ahead and go backwards. I think I must have missed her um, in the slides. She's the last one. And Miss Johnson, if you would just, I know you had some announcements while I um, just briefly make sure I have this right. No problem. Um, and it's actually a, a good segue as we do that, because um, one of the things that I wanted to share with all of our families and our teachers and with everyone is uh, a big, first of all, I want to say congratulations to our scholars. Um, I, I really commend you for the work that you have done during this time. You are our youngest scholars and you represented so well today during our award ceremony. So I'm extremely proud of each of you. Um, I also wanna say thank you to our parents um, and to our scholars and to our staff for being extremely patient with us, not only during the ceremony, um, with, with, with some of the, the, the technical difficulties that we may have had, but just throughout this school year, um, you have made this year possible because of the homeschool connection that our parents have had with our, Scott, with our teachers and with our uh, school administration. And so I really do appreciate you for um, working with us as we have had to think outside of the box as to how we open our doors to teach and, and to learn and to how we have um, had to put forth this presentation for you today. So I really do want to make sure that we say thank you um, for your patience with us. Um, in addition to that, I want to send some special thank yous to um, Mrs. Wright for this program, for getting that together for us, for Mrs. Uh, Goldston and Ms. Simpert in the front office, to all of our teachers and our academic assistants. Thank you so much for the role that you played in making sure that our first virtual um, award ceremony happened. And so um, I, I wanted 
to make sure that I that I took a moment to really say thank you because I really appreciate you all. Um, Mrs. Wright, are you all set? Awesome, awesome. So I'm gonna turn it back over to Mrs. Wright before I do my official closing remarks and then um, we will have you all on your way. you unmute yourself, Mrs. Wright. Okay. okay. And I think we're back. I apologize. My computer is running a little slowly today. Okay. And so here we have Ms. Bogle and um, Ms. Harris's awards. Um, we did, we were able to record it. So you can go back and play this. So I know Miss McDonald's class had some technical difficulties, but she just asked for her, that would be perfect. So in the academic award in writing in Miss Bogle and Miss Harris class, we have Denise Akazamana, Nathaniel Albert, Taylor Cockburn, and Avery Williams McNeils. Woohoo! In the area of reading, we have Denise Akazamana, Ronaldo Wright. Nathaniel Albert, Courtney Miller, Amir Lawrence, Tyler Brown, and Ryan Dennis. Excellent job, super readers. I'm getting some feedback. I'm not sure if someone is unmuted, if they could mute, please. In the area of academic excellence for math, Ronaldo Wright. Denish Akazamana, Ryan Dennis, Grayson Gittens, Emily Morgan, Avery Williams McNeils, Carly Rose Wilkins, and Connor Salmon. For personal success, in the areas of reading, math, and effort, and writing. Ryan Dennis for reading. In the area of math, Zanae Gordon and Connor Salmon. For effort, Aishana Smichael, Taylor Funny, Layla McGowan, Jason Lindo, Ania Price, Alicia Maxim, Omani Bennett, Chrissy Johnson, and in meeting Carly Rose Wilkins. Congratulations. And we will do it again. The Jamoki Academy, the Jamoki Academy Awards go to Tyrus Bester, Kalina Fetty, and Natanya Albert. Okay. And so I'm going to take it back to. Ms. Johnson, for our final words. Awesome. And so um, in the first award ceremony this morning with our second through fourth grade, I challenged our scholars um, to, to improve in, in one in, in two areas, two areas. One of them was making sure Sure that they are getting on to iReady. And I know that when I'm talking with my younger scholars, especially if it's virtual and you're at home, that, that I'm also talking to the families. And so families, um, teachers in kindergarten and first grade are going to be assigning um, even over the week, um, over the Christmas break or over the holiday break, um, some iReady assignments. I challenge your scholars to get onto iReady and to make sure that they are completing their assignments. Um, iReady, if you're not familiar with it, is a, is a program that we use that provides individualized instruction for your scholar. So that means that it's going to, 
it, it, we assessed our scholars at the beginning of the year and based off of that information, it is providing individualized instruction based on your scholars needs. And so that's something that even if they're not in front of their scholar, if they're doing uh, in front of their teacher, if they are doing independent work at home, they are receiving individualized instruction. And so I challenge you along with your scholar to ensure that, that you are um, helping your scholar. I know that, that, that it takes a lot of work on your end to make sure that your scholars are on to their eye ready, that they are um, not only on the assignments, but that they are trying their best so that they can pass it. And so um, hopefully next time around, we're going to have lots of kindergarten as well as first grade scholars who are representing um, in that area because Ms. Johnson is personally giving you that challenge. Um, in addition to that, I'm also challenging all of our scholars to, um, to work towards the personal um, the perfect attendance award. And so um, per perfect attendance or attendance in general, it doesn't even have to be necessarily perfect, but it, it, it is um, each of our students striving to make sure that every day we're on. Um, that's something that I'm asking our parents to also work with us with getting your scholars on, especially if it is virtual, if it's coming in every day, make sure that um, it, when they are coming in, that if you can help it, that you have it, have them there on time. Um, and so those two things are, are a personal challenge that I am giving all of our scholars across um, our elementary school to see if we can increase the amount of names that we have in iReady recognition and in attendance. So help me with that. And I look forward to celebrating each of you come um, our uh, spring uh, award ceremony. Um, the last thing that I would like to mention is that each of our scholars will be receiving an actual um, physical certificate that certificate, if it did not already go out with the scholar yesterday, if they were a part of cohort A, they will get it next week. Um, and it's um, since we will not be in school tomorrow, um, and that could lead until Friday, uh, we will mail out any certificates that were not physically given this week. So if your scholar did not receive their, their uh, award before winter break, we will be mailing those out and you should be getting them over the break. So uh, we do want to make sure that that all of our scholars receive their certificate in hand and that you as families can celebrate with them and have that that recognition. So you will be receiving that. Um, and so uh, last but not least, I do want to share um, a few of the uh, calendar of events that we have going on. By now, you all should have received um, information around the fact that our school will be closed tomorrow due to inclement weather. There will be no hybrid or virtual learning. So um, we are, um, you know, giving this day as an opportunity for families to enjoy a snow day, to um, safely shovel out and do the things that you need to do as a family. Um, and we're not going to, you know, muddy that up with, with, with schoolwork. So it is a no school day for scholars and staff tomorrow. No school will be in session. Um, as a result of that, we did have a family engagement night that was scheduled. That family engagement night will now be the first Thursday of January, which is January uh, that, that we come back in January. So January the 7th, we will communicate, our, our teachers will work with you all to communicate that information, but we are gonna move it from this Thursday to the first Thursday that we are back inside of our school walls. So please look out um, for that, it will be virtual. We are excited to have all of our scholars on and to have all of our families on and to teach you guys some fun strategies um, as we connect with one another. So um, there are some other, uh, uh, information that we'll be getting out to you. We do have our winter break that is occurring. Um, it will start next, um, it, it actually starts next Thursday. So we'll be in school through Wednesday. Next Thursday starts the break. And then we come back, if I'm not mistaken, on January the 4th. So uh, please look out in Parent Square for additional um, calendar of events. And please reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for the role that you play, parents. Thank you so much to our scholars. You have been awesome. And we look forward to seeing you all when we all get to return back to schools.
hopefully very soon. So um, thank you all. Teachers, if you uh, are scheduled to continue with your lessons, please continue at this time. If it is independent time, please make sure that scholars are aware and that families are aware.